Now, everybody be quiet, eh? Santa Claus has taken all the presents to Mr. Dooley's room. And as soon as we hear the bell, it means that he has come. Oh, there he is now. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hello, children. Merry Christmas. Presents for everyone. Come on, darling. Presents for everyone. Where's my Uncle Dooley? Oh, your Uncle Dooley, darling. He's up on the roof. He's holding my reindeer for me. But he'll be right back. That's Gee, then you're really Santa Claus? Well, of course I'm Santa Claus in the all-too-corpulent flesh. Ho, 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 ho. But don't you want to hear about your presents? Yeah. Well, I I've got a list somewhere. If I can only find that list, I... That's it. That's my list. Now, let me read this out. Uh-huh. Excuse me, is that Mr. Charles Dooley? Yes. Isn't he wonderful? Now, let me see. An, oh, this I remember. Anna Marie, you wanted a little dolly, didn't you, in a carriage? Well, here you are, darling, all for you. Go on, take it away. <laughs> and now, Grover? Hey, I, how do you know our names? I know all the names of good little boys and girls. Besides, I got this list airmail, remember? Now, here, here's a watch for you, Grover. There. And Madeline, that's your sled, dear. Go on, take it away. <laughs> Teddy, here, here's your train. It's not electrical. I thought that might be dangerous, but you can push that around. And here, Ronnie, there are your boxing gloves. And you, Joni, you wanted a dolly in a carriage, too. Well, there it is, darling. It's all yours. Take it away. <laughs> and now, there are presents for the parents under the tree. Well, Merry Christmas, gentlemen. Welcome to the party. We talk to you outside. Oh, sure. What? Police officer. Oh, we'll have to take you in, Charlie. I'm sorry, but... Oh, that's all right. I, I know I spent money that wasn't mine. But I heard that those men that I was working for... You can for... tell all that to the magistrate, Charlie. Well, I, oh, I'm, I'm coming along with you, but if I could just have one minute, just, just one minute... I've got a last present to hand out, and it, it's an There's open... a charge against you, Charlie. We haven't got time to wait Joe. for... All right, go ahead. We'll wait. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, folks, uh, could, could I have your attention just a minute, uh, children, too, please? I, uh, there is one last present I've got here, and to me it's the most important because because it's for my little Anna Marie. And she's always been, and I, I think you know the reason why, always been the closest to my heart. Uh, Miss Scarpita, in, in this envelope, you'll, you'll find some money, at, at least enough to start a fund to get a good doctor and make her legs well. God bless you. And I, I hope they'll do the trick, little sweetheart, and I know it will, because, because you deserve so much to be well. Thank you, Santa Claus. You're a real sweet man, just like my Uncle Dooley. Thank you, Doc. Well, Santa Claus has got to be getting on now. And incidentally, I, I'm going to take your Uncle Dooley with me for just a little while up to the North Pole. Uh, not for very long. I, I just want him to help me get my, my toy shop started, that's all. I'll send him back to you very soon. Uh, how about a Christmas carol? Well, I'm ready, officer. But I want you to know something first. I didn't steal all of that money. Some of it was mine for work honestly done. Look, Charlie, you stole some money, and the law says... Wait a minute, Joe. I think you've got the facts a little twisted in this case. Mr. Dooley didn't steal any money. Chief, are you well, all right? The money he used for the presents was collected for deserving children, wasn't it? To make Christmas happy for them? Well, sure, but... Well, it seems to me that Mr. Dooley made Christmas happy for some very deserving children. Don't you think so, Joe? I make it a point never to argue with the boss. Here. I want you to add this to the fund for Anna Marie. With best wishes from... from a friend. Will you do that? Yeah, I'll do that. You're a good friend. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I didn't introduce you to this very nice officer. Mr. Dooley, this is Joe Seidel, and he wants to contribute to Anna Marie's fun, too. Huh? Don't you, Joe? Oh, well, sure, of course, Chief. I said I'd make it a point never to argue with the boss. I hope she gets well real fast. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Chief. And a Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Dooley. And the wonderful. Well, that's I managed to avoid arresting Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. I figured I'd fulfilled the letter as well as the spirit of the law when I took in Ross Pennington and Elma Castle. They'll be on the receiving end of a different kind of charity for a while. The state will furnish their board and lodging with a little hard labor thrown in just to remind them that they couldn't get away with their new kind of racket. A racket that was more than just against the law. It was a parasite that fed on one of the finest charities we know, the street corner Santa Claus. I'm sure there aren't any other crooks as low as Pennington and Castle. So during the Christmas season, give freely to the men in the red suits. They're all working hard for legitimate charities. Closing this case now, or rather the courts will, but there'll be others, because that's the way the world is built. Remember, there are people who can slap you on the back with one hand and pick your pocket with the other. And it could happen to you. Racket Squad next week, same time, same station.